There are three questions that I've written on the type, top of the whiteboard and they never get erased. And I look at them and everything I do in my office is run through these three filters. How does this run the city well? How does this grow the city? And how does this move the dial on equity? Because, and those three questions are intimately intertwined. You can't do one without the other. Running the city well, growing the city inclusively, and eliminating our racial disparities, which many people are surprised to learn are some of the biggest in the entire country, are the three biggest challenges and opportunity I face and we face as a city. And so it is what I turn my attention to every day when I walk into the office. So I could bore you uh, with the details of the first question, running the city well, um, but I'll skip over mostly that part because it'll be threaded through the rest of the talk. But suffice it to say, we spend, I spend, um, but we as a city spend much of our time in the nitty gritty basics that never make the papers and people mostly don't know about, but it is essential to a well-run city no matter your party or your political philosophy. People think about it when something goes wrong. We don't want people to have to think about it. So uh, to be honest, my favorite part of the job is spending most of my summer poring over spreadsheets, drilling down into funding requests from departments as I put together my budget. True story, I deliver my budget usually in mid-August uh, to the council. Uh, it's my favorite part. Um, and true story, uh, when I first started running for mayor after serving on the city council for eight years and chair of the budget committee for four years, I learned that not only did people not know quite enough about me or as much as I would hope given I was running for mayor at the time, but what they thought they knew was that I wore green eye shade 24 hours a day. I don't wear a green eye shade 24 hours a day, but I am a total nerd. So, uh, but apparently I was that boring, and I am more interesting than that. I mean, I've been to Burlington, Vermont, right? Um, I love country music, which is unusual, and Bruce Springsteen, and Wonder Woman, and Prince. Pour one out. Um, yeah, that was a little sad, but, um, so I love all these things, but as to the green eye shade part, fair enough, I'm a budget nerd. Wear it loud, wear it proud.